G'day. Um, I just wanted to talk about the Canon X uh, from a, you know, just a general bloke's view of, of how they are. Uh, I bought one, I've done 13,000 Ks and it's not a lot, but you know, it's a start. Uh, this one is a great car as far as I'm concerned, but it does have a couple of issues and I want to talk about those as well as the good bits, obviously. Uh, I've fitted a ProVent catch can on it and I think this is essential for any diesel. You might want to fit a pre-filter, but to be honest, I've got a fairly clean fuel supply and I don't do up north a lot, so I, I, I haven't yet anyway. So I wouldn't be fitting one just yet. I might do later if I decide to do some up north trips. Uh, but the catch can's great, it stops a lot of rubbish going through into your uh, into your intake. And I mean, it's a lot that gets drained out of there. Now, one issue I want to bring up straight away is the problem that they've got with their fueling on acceleration from a standing start. It just, it st seems to almost stall. It stutters, it doesn't quite smoothly accelerate. And I don't understand why Havel have not put out, or GWM have not put out, a um, software fix for this. It's a fueling issue. It should be a no-brainer, uh, but they haven't. But you can buy a module. It's a couple of hundred bucks. It's an easy fix. Uh, but I, I, you know, again, why should you have to? But obviously, I'm going to have to, um, because when you're pulling out into traffic, it can be dangerous. Simple as that, as far as I'm concerned. Oh, I'm sure everybody would agree. Okay. Apart from that, uh, the engine seems really solid. Two-liter turbo diesel. Nothing wrong with that at all. Uh, look, they've been making them forever. They go well. It, you can sit on any speed on the highway, fully loaded. It seems fine. It doesn't struggle at all. Mind you, I don't do a lot of big towing. I fitted a tow ball to it and I towed my trailer to the tip. But, um, you know, look, it, 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 I think it'll be fine. It, it's got plenty of grunt. Uh, it's not a Ferrari, but it, it goes well. Drives really well. It's on HTs at the moment. Um, I've not changed them. It comes with a Cooper HTs, as you know by standard. Um, when it goes to new tires, I might put the ATs on, but again, I don't do a lot of rocky sort of stuff. Uh, I do a little bit, but mainly my full driving is beach sand and really boggy beach sand. And it, with that, this is fantastic. No problems at all. Even up steep gradients in the beach boggy sand, it just works away nice and slowly and gets its way up there. Got to have your tire pressures right, particularly with the HTO. I think with any tire, you should have them right. Sand. I generally work at around 18 to 20. I've never had a problem with those pressures. I've never needed to drop it any lower. It seems to just keep going, no problem. So, well done on that. I mean, don't forget, it does have a diff locker and it does have all these uh, assists in it that, that work particularly well. Uh, we're gonna focus on the outside just now. Okay, so you've got a great tub here. And I love this vehicle for the tub. I love this feature. This feature is fantastic. Um, it, the soft open, it's just perfect, like, you know, there's no worries about it going bang, and you know, I used to hate that bang on the older ones. This, I like to call it my old man step, because I'm an old man, but it's also really useful if you're carrying things in and out, as you can imagine. It makes it much easier to lift things in and out. Uh, the tub itself is lined with this beautiful liner. Look, I'm not going to go through the specs with you because you're going to see those in every other video. I saw those and it didn't help me decide to buy it that much. Um, the specs were good. But the tub is huge. The liner is great. It's tough. Um, fits everything I need to chuck in it. Mountain bikes, windsurf, uh, surfboards, friggin' wing foils, you name it. Just goes straight in there, no drama. I don't have to worry about it too much. Um, let's have a look now. I think that's done the exterior. Oh, it's good solid. No problems with the exterior. It's got a few marks on it, but that's me and, me and the kids treating it like a car, I suppose. Going into the interior, you've got this really nice large interior for the family, uh, for your friends. There's plenty of leg room, plenty of space in there, and it's really nicely appointed with all that leather trim on the and the leather seats in particular are very comfortable. Lots of airbags. It's got a five-star ambient rating now. Talk about the adaptive tint though. The uh, the salesman, and he was a bit of a challenging one, let's say. Uh, yeah, he told me it was adaptive the whole way around. Clearly it's not. I mean, if that's adaptive, there's something wrong. It's just a pane of freaking glass. On the back though, it is all, all free back. Tint, windows are tinted beautifully, no dramas at all. And they work really well, but I will be getting tint on the front. Um, I would have done that sooner, but uh, uh, for some reason, I believe they were adaptive and, 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 and uh, what do you do? Now, 
in here. You got the nice leather seats again, and these are very, very comfortable seats. They've got mates who are six foot four who sit in them going down south for a surf, and they're super comfortable. As you'll see when I get in, I'm six foot. There's plenty, plenty of leg room, plenty of room for your body, plenty of comfort in this car. Everything your arms touch, whether it's up here or down here or here, is, is a nice soft feel. The seat really is very, very comfortable and has you know adjustment in every single way you could even want it to have and more um again the steering wheel is uh, again easily adjustable the steering wheel is very intuitive it's got looks like a lot of buttons but uh they're all very functional and very useful uh not a problem at all um everything about it's good i will point out this one thing though this happened at about six thousand k's and um, I expect the debtor will fix it under warranty next service, but it's just a bit of delamination on that tacky, crappy plastic stuff that tends to get used nowadays. Uh, the, all, the, all those holders, like the glove box, this, in, this central console, very useful. This is a handy little coin tray here. Cup holders, it's all good. Nothing wrong with it. I love this function. You start your car in the morning from inside your house where you're warm or cool, depending on the time of year. And uh, you get to let it warm up if you like, or the aircon or whatever it is, particularly after. Now, if you want anything to happen in this car when it's in park, you've got to put your foot on the brake. Okay, so we're doing that, and it's just it's been going through a startup process now. But you can see, nice display in it, really clear and easy to use. And I'm just going to go to the um, lane keeper assist because I want to mention this as a function. The lane keeper assist is a pain in my ass because every single time you get into the car you have to go through this rigmarole to turn it off. Now you might want to leave it on but personally I, f I find it quite annoying because it moves your wheel, sort of forces your wheel left and right when you might not necessarily want it to do that. Um, in fact, I don't like it at all. So every single time I get in the car, I have to go through this. And that's pretty much the same with my heat seat, uh, my, my driver's comfort when I want to heat the seats. Um, because what happens is this car does not remember my settings in that respect. And I find that pretty frustrating. It would have been easy to program it to remember it, but it didn't. Okay, uh, apart from that, all the, all the you know, sort of the, the eco and the sports and you got full low, you've got diff locker, you've got hill descent, you've got all that stuff. You even got three different steering modes. You can have a light mode, sports mode, comfort mode, all these different modes. They're great. Um, I'll just leave it on light. Um, the adjustable headlights, all of that stuff is brilliant. But the aircon could be stronger, in my opinion. I don't think it's as cold as I like it. Uh, the fan seems to blow okay, but it just doesn't get cold enough for my liking. But this thing annoys me. This is the air vent fully up and fully open. Now you close it by going down. There's only one problem with that. If I want the air to come down at this part of my body, it tends to shut the air off and it doesn't really pass this point here. So it doesn't pass about a foot and a half from the actual vent. And if I wanted to go even lower, just a little bit lower on my legs maybe, you can't because it just shuts it off. So that frustrates me a bit. Now, I'm just going to turn this off. The key's great. I actually took this key for a swim, left it in my board shorts without realising it. But the key started the car after I got out of my swim and realised what I'd done. I was like, oh no. But it wasn't a problem. When I got home, pulled it apart, thought I'll have to clean it right out and get some you know, electrical st uh, spray. And... But no, it was completely sealed unit. So well thought of GWM. I'm sure other manufacturers think of these things too, but it just seems to me this is not as budget as people like to think it is. And you know, you can tell by the, the way the doors open and close and all the fixtures and fittings on the car, it all works really well. It's all been thought out really well. Um, did I go through the camera? I didn't. But the cameras around this car, the, the display for a start is brilliant, nice big screen, but the cameras are brilliant. You have a bird's eye view, you have a 360 view around the car, you have uh, cameras at the front, you have cameras at the back for reversing, and they all work incredibly well. Um, so uh, I've got to say, all in all, the Canon X by GWM, Havel Motors if you like, is a really good car. 
And at 42 grand, I, you, I think if you look at comparable vehicles on the market, I just don't think you can go past one. I, I, to be honest, I'd, I'd buy one. Oh, and I did.